greater circle guide adjustment. In addition to regular maintenance such as changing oil and filling lubricants. The grader needs to readjust the clearance between the two parts on the working device after a certain period of use. So that the grader can be in good working condition. Meet the needs of fine scraping operations. 1. Adjustment of the gap, QH for short, between the traction frame and the circle. Operate the grader, lift the moldboard, and after the grader is turned off, use a measuring tool to measure the gap between the tractor frame and the circle guide. We use QHB to represent it. Then place the moldboard on the ground, first loosen the fixing bolt on a circle guide, and remove the circle guide and its entire set of adjustment pads. In order to facilitate clearance control, the gaskets are available in two different thicknesses, 0.5 mm and 1 mm. At this time, you can subtract the standard value QH from the measured QHB value to get the gap size that needs to be adjusted. You can get the gap size that needs to be adjusted by removing the original vehicle adjustment shim with the corresponding thickness. The gap between the tractor frame and the circle can be returned to the standard value of 1.5 mm to 2 mm. Install the adjusted set of gaskets and circle guide in place, pre-tighten the three fixing bolts. And then disassemble the other three circle guides in order to return the QH at each place to the standard value. Adjust diagonally according to the installation position of the circle guide. 2. Adjustment of the gap, DH between the circle guide and circle. Loosen the three bolts on a circle guide and push the circle guide toward the circle direction. And make the gap, DH, between them reach the standard value of 2 mm. In order to facilitate the control of the gap, you can use two 1 mm adjustment shims divided into two groups and insert them into the gap groove at both ends. At this time, the DH is the standard value of 2 mm. Then tighten the three bolts of the circle guide appropriately. And then adjust the two positioning bolts simultaneously so that they are in contact with the slewing support guide rail. And then tighten the locking nut with a wrench. Then use the same method to adjust the other three circle guides. And make the gap, DH, between them and the slewing bearing reach the standard value of 2 mm. Note, the adjustment sequence is carried out diagonally according to the installation position of the circle guide. After the above work is completed, use a torque wrench to tighten the 12 fixing bolts on the four circle guides diagonally to a tightening torque of 550 Nm. Finally, operate the grader for a test run.